Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcela and today I want to share with you a few tips on how you can keep your closet clean and organized for the next season. And before I get started, I wanted to share with you that I have read this book, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo and this book has literally changed my life. And that is because every time that I not only organize a space in my home and I want to get rid of things, I don't focus on what I get, want to get rid of, but rather what I want to keep in my home. And that is the basic principle of this book. Now, every time that I want to bring a new item into my home, I double think, is this something that I really need? Is this something that is going to serve a purpose? Or is this something that I actually will enjoy and this will spark joy in my home. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can check it out. And the first thing we're going to do, and if you have seen some of my other organizing videos, you have noticed that I like to take absolutely everything from whatever space that I'm organizing, in this case, the closet. I'm gonna take absolutely everything. I'm gonna give the closet a good wipe down uh, taking advantage of that it's empty so I can get the back of the closet as well, cleaning the walls, the baseboards and the floors as well. And after that, I'm going to start putting everything back. But this is the process and the step that you have to be very, very careful and very mindful to. You are going to put everything back, but only those items that you are going to wear because you like them, because you need them, because the winter is coming and you are actually going to need those thick coats and you are going to put only the items that you really want, that you really need, and most importantly, the items that you love, that you enjoy having, that you enjoy wearing. Because otherwise, if you put back a jacket or a coat that you haven't worn in three winters, the possibilities that you are going to wear it this winter are minimal. So only bring stuff and items that you really want and that you know that you're going to wear. Same thing we're going to do with the shoes. Now I have a lot of sandals that of course I'm not going to wear during this time of the year. So I'm going to bring some um, warmer shoes and boots and booties and that kind of thing. And let's reveal the final result. And as you can see, it looks way more organized than the way it was. Of course, when you have mixed items with winter and um, summer items, that makes it a little messy because you have way too much stuff that you are not going to wear. Now, in my case, I try to have things that I can wear in both seasons. So, for example, I try to wear layers, like I have a lot of these thin blouses, like this. I wear a lot of this during the summertime and also during the winter time because the summertime I can just roll them up. They're thin enough to wear them by themselves and they're like really fresh and they look nice. But in the winter time I can 
put the sleeves down and I layer them with um, a sweater or um, a cardigan. So that's why I like to choose items that I can wear pretty much in every season. And that helps me to, one, not to have a lot of stuff, but also to be able to wear everything that I have in my closet. So as you can see on this side, I'm going to start with this area. So I have a, like all my necklaces here uh, and I have them also categorized as the, um, the short ones, the chains, but they are thin and long ones. These are short but they are thicker and in the back I have long necklaces and thick necklaces. So I have them categorized as well. Here I have all my flats. And if you don't have a lot of space, I highly recommend this uh, organizer. Uh, you can get it at the uh, container store or also the, at Amazon. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it because you can put 10 pair of shoes here. And the way I do it, I get my shoes like that. So I have my shoes and I put them like this. So the dirt part doesn't touch the other side of the shoe. So I put them like this and then I put it here. Something else that I do also is that all of my shoes, I get them, when I get them, I get rid of the box right away. And the reason I do that is because way before, I used to have my shoes all the way up here in the boxes. And that may be a really, really good um, way to do it because the shoes uh, keep their good condition and they don't get dusty and all that. But the downside on, about that system is that you don't have real access to the shoes. And what happened, at least with me, is that I ended up wearing the same pair of shoes that I had outside and I never wore those other shoes. So since I got rid of all those boxes and I put them here, I really wear them all. So uh, one thing that you could do is to keep the paper that they come with so they don't lose the shape and they keep them fresh as well. And over here I have all my pants and these are like more the dress, dressy pants, like the ones that are a little more dressed up. Um, so I have my pattern pants here, which is very weird. I don't wear patterns at all, but I do like this. And as you can see, I have here five other pair of uh, pants. Those, these are more like dressed up, as I mentioned. Um, I have a gray one, I have two blue ones, and I have two black ones. And those are the kind of pants that I wear the most. It's really important that when you put everything back here, you are mindful of what is your lifestyle today. You may have been working at an office before and you wore like suits, like a, a full suit, right? With uh, high heels and all that. But now you're not working at that office anymore. You may be working uh, as a freelance or maybe you're working from home or maybe you're working um, in a completely different job that you had a year ago. And those things that you had before, like the dressed up uh, suits, you're not going to wear them anymore. So it's good to get rid of those, give them to other people, pass them to someone who may actually really need them, and leave only the things that you are going to wear and that is going to serve your purpose. And right here I have my, oh, I have one skirt because during the winter time I avoid wearing skirts and dresses because I'm always cold. Uh, so I, that's why I have way more pants. I have a few sleeveless shirts because again I'm going to layer them with a um, cardigan so I can still wear them. Uh, and I have two short sleeves and the rest is long sleeves and these, all these shirts I wear them both summer and winter time. Then I have my cardigans, then I have my blazers. I have here one um, sweatshirt that has a zipper, that's why I have it here. And then I have my winter coats and that's it. Oh, in the back, one dress because just like the skirt, I don't wear as much during the winter time. And right here on the top, I have two baskets with my bags. And 
I got rid of a lot of bags on my previous um, organizing video. I, if you didn't see that, I'm going to put that down below because there were a lot of bags that I was not using and now everything that I have here I do use and I can rotate my bags very easily. And here I have my jeans and I have two um, sweatshirts. These are not zippered so it's easy to fold them so that's why I have them here. I only have two so that's why I put them up here. And then on this side I have the other shoes that I wear during this time of the year and these are the shoes that are not fitting in my uh, shoe organizer that I have hanging in the closet because they're either thicker, they're high heel or they're like boots or booties. And right here in this plastic um, drawer that I have, um, it's a plastic dresser that I got like around 15 years ago and still have it. I love it. I got it at Target. Um, right here I have all my um, sport clothes like the tank tops, my uh, sport bras and leggings. And right here, these are the tank tops that I use under my regular clothes. Um, especially now during the winter because it's really cold so I need that to get a little warmer. Um, here I have the white ones and here I have the black ones and to divide them I have the navy blue and one green right there. And on the second drawer I have my long sleeve um, t-shirts and I have a few, a couple of um, turtleneck here. I have them categorized by color or color coded and here I have these that are short sleeves that I'm going to keep using during the winter time because I'm going to layer them with other stuff um, and these are two long sleeve um, straps. Oh and the middle and in the middle I have this little container that I got at Ikea and I have my scarves my um, hat and I also put my gloves here but right now I have it in my purse because it's been really really cold here lately and in the last drawer I have all my sweaters um, these right here are thicker so um, and these are a little thin but I like to use this kind of sweater throughout the year because I can wear them in uh, spring in, in the fall uh, maybe not as much during the summer but I do wear them do throughout the year because these that are thinner I will I will wear them by themselves during the um, summer or uh, springtime um, when they get a little it gets a little colder I'm gonna use the thicker ones by itself but at the same time I can keep using this thin one because I can just layer them with a thicker jacket or a thicker coat on top and right here I have um, also my jewelry. I don't wear a ton of them, but I have some earrings and like uh, I like to wear this on my ponytails. With my ponytails I have some earrings, like pearl earrings and stuff like that. Not a whole lot, but um, at this tray I wasn't really so sure at the very beginning when I got them, but um, I really love them. I think it's um, it's great. It has worked out really good for me. I'm going to put the link down below. I got it at the container store. And that's it. If you liked this video, I would so much appreciate if you give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and also share it with all your friends. And I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.